and welcome to another tutorial. I know my first one was a little bit shabby on the sound. Hopefully I'm going to improve on that, okay? Um can't really remember what I did in that video. I can't really be bothered to watch it. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll do cover the basics, okay? And if anyone wants me to add anything new to um, a video or make a new video and stuff like that, um, tell me and I'll um, have a go at it, okay? I haven't been on Sim 4 d for a while now. My PC has been playing up over here. If you hold down the mouse button, you have tons of objects you can select. Have fun with them, okay? I'm going to go with Cube. I don't have that much time because uh, YouTube, if I um, could put on f um, longer videos, I would. And go into more depth, depth um, to the videos and stuff like that, how it works. Down here, you can add more polygons. So, them white lines are polygons. Maybe they look grey on what, um, how you configured your Sim 4D up. If you have configured it up differently, I'm pretty sure you know what you're doing. So, um, good for you. All right. Over here, we've got our scale tool. We can scale the mod uh, model up and down. Here, if you click on one of them, it does exactly the same because we haven't edit, uh, made it a editable ob object yet. Over here, we got our rotation tool, so we can rotate it. Quite helpful. Right. Um, over here, we can rotate around the object um, with our camera. Zoom in and out. Move around it. We can change um, um, screens and stuff like that, so we can see a top, front, and right. If you've got um, a mouse with a mouse wheel, you can click that in and jump to whatever screen you want, okay? I, I use that quite often when I'm in some 4D. Um, here we got our... Oh, hang on. We make it we make a edible object, okay? So now it's edible. We click on a mouse cursor up here. We got our point tool, so we can select the points of the object of the corners and stuff like that. Where, where points of the polygons and stuff, okay? We got our edge tool, so we select the edges of the polygon. We got our polygon tool, so we can select our polygon. We can move it around. And we got, um, if we right click, we got extrude. And you can extrude another polygon. I tell you, that is helpful in so many ways, okay? Um, up here, I didn't know this for a long time. I don't like looking through manu manuals and stuff. I don't know why. I, maybe because I'm a bloke and looking through manu manuals is not in my DNA. <laughs> but, uh, up here, you can render out your scene. Um, if you hold down the mouse button, go down here. You can make your own movies. you got different codecs in here. Is that f um, it, hang on, where is it? I've got a good codec, right? I've got a good codec. I haven't tried it in Sigma 4D yet. I'll put in the link. I'll put it in the sidebar over here, and hopefully, um, it works in there. Um, I've used it in other programs and stuff. It works bloody good. It compresses the video so much <laughs> that that what I'll be using for my other videos when I make scenes and render them out and put them on YouTube. Back to the topic about the basics of um, Sim 4D. Um, let's delete, delete this. Um, we got, like, over here we can select um, object. I already said that. If we go over here to object, we got other stuff. Like, we can select exactly the same, but we got other stuff pretty much from the toolbar over here. You can go down and select all the stuff you really need and some stuff well, I haven't actually found up there. Don't even know how to use sound. I uh, really would like to but I don't know what the hell how to use it. But okay. Um, you got lights and stuff. Adding lights are really good for detail and stuff like that to make your scenes 
pop out uh, and textures perfect talking about textures you can add your textures down here file um, new mesh double click click on these dotted lines you can click on any picture you want for your texture perfect I always turn it off for most of my textures if you got water and stuff like that you want a little bit of shine or you got plastic or glass or something like that you might want to fiddle with that get it right oh, I can't I'm not very good with fiddling with that oh, it always comes out so bad for me <laughs> alright if um, if you want me to make any other videos or anything um, send me a comment and um, I'll, I'll try and make another video on how to use it more in depth and stuff like that and um, don't forget to rate, subscribe, um, sub and um, comment okay and peace out